after plant. A lot is going to come down to whether or not Sphinx can sneak up behind. And he's already been found. JKS, he's lightning quick here. Still goes down somehow. That's shocking. But there is enough damage. Hunter will take him down. Nico at range. And it's just Dupree. One versus two. No chance at all against the Cousins. And it's G2. Looks he's faking mid. And they're about to walk out onto A. Yeah, just has to pull a little bit of attention, but what a headshot. That's Cyber with a scalp, like you said, and he was looking for that scalp again. He wanted a second one. Odyssey's already out of the round. Cyber comes back, but got to be a little bit careful. He still has Megas down in shadow with the Deagle playing. Another headshot for Cyber. He's finding them. Oh, the slow down inside of the bomb site, and it's a bit of a disaster, Dupree. But this cross, I don't think they'll be expecting Zywe here. Maybe jungle, maybe CT, but all the way to short, probably not. And there's another tag. Look at the impact from Zywe now. Yeah, and the problem is they can't really face CT spawn either. There's two people waiting there. Nice little spray from JKS to take down Dupree Sphinx. Oh, it's Cyber from the other side. He's got three kills. And now he's coming for Nico as well. One versus two for Nico. He's going to get the head blown right off there. And now the question is, could Sphinx find him? He's got the health advantage, but... Oh, nice right over the box. That's uh, the way you should go about things. And now, maybe a default round here. Flashed out. Honestly, his AWP rings through, and they're pushing. Everyone's flashed, though. Megas gets his eyes back a little bit sooner. Sphinx is in there. Need to say his name more as well. He's pushing up behind, and it's perfect. Nice double with a little bit of backup assistance at range there from Dupree to help him out. Nico on his own, and he can't get the job done either. With not probably definitely the most difficult role to have to switch out. Oh. And they nuclear bomb Nico down below. Hunter, surprised he didn't take more damage as well. Yeah, that was a nice little move there, right? Knowing the default spread, the timing that they like to come up through underpass, maybe a sound cue or two. <laughs> what is that, Apex? Okay. Well, that's a little bit silly, but getting some revenge here. Dupree is going to grab JKS, and this round is looking great for Vitality. Some nades, a jumping shot, and then an easy kill. It had to be Apex doing it, didn't it? Just had to be. Good sneak in. Monacy worried about something else at that point in time, and Hooksy. One versus five here. Could still do some damage, which would be really great, but Apex is going to find him. What a round from him. Triple. Maybe even fight here. He nades forward. Zywe takes a shot, but that just gets the kill. So a great little bait and switch. But the hit bait. He's been boosted up into the corner. That's really hard to check. Yep, they're not going to see it. Hooksy, he was hunting for the second player in Apex. So free kill for Dupree, and he's going to keep going, taking down JKS. And this seems like it is almost already locked down. Down to 15 seconds. So at some point soon, you just have to run in there and try and plant the bomb. And as you pointed out, you're covered 180 degrees, so going to be real tricky to do that. Nico getting shut down, and time has run out. Sphinx with the headshot, 8-7 to seven in favor of Vitality. They make the comeback happen, and they end up with a one-round lead. That's pretty impressive. We'll not check behind them. A little bit of a jump into the window. Oh, that's a mid-air headshot. Monacy, he actually hit that one. Unbelievable, but it's still 4-4. Oh. Cyrus back with the P250, and Sphinx... He just wants anything right now. He could have stuck around for a kill, but obviously couldn't know that. And Hunter is going to be finding Cybers are right back into a three versus three. Smoke up on the bomb, but could they actually find it here? They have a kid on Hooksy. It's impossible. He's already on it. Speaks oh. and finding it as well. Oh, long flank for that triple. Oh, they're running for it. Yep, they're going to try and see if they can run them down. And it almost works perfectly. JKS with the double in return, but Sphinx, as you said, he's all the way up there at 18 kills, and he will trade that one. Three versus three. The bomb, a little bit delayed, but because they're so quick on the early one, they can afford to slow oh, it down. No. I can't believe he takes the fight. Apex is nuts. What an unorthodox kind of fight that was there from Apex, but a massive one indeed, and now Hooksy in a one on three. Why would he do that? Yeah, don't, look, it's an Apex move. He uh, definitely plays outside of the box here. Hooksy up and over, can't even get one. Apex is even finding form now. Open up one of these rounds, inspire the team just a tiny bit. Nico, there with the Deagle. There's a tiny bit of damage, but not the one deed that we're looking for. Here we Ichi go. will get the job done, and with a shot on Apex, it's kind of working out now. They are very low on health on three out of five players there, so you want to be careful still. Hooksy sneaking in, the timing is oh so good. Catching Saibu and now Megas, the only one with any real health left. G2, they might have found a lifeline somehow in the middle of all of this chaos. Apex. That would be the change of tone in the round for Vitality. Hey, just make sure they can't scoop up all the rifles. JKS is going to take that magic. Sphinx has gotten one, make that two. Not enough time to find the final two. It will expire and they're going to look for the fight. Sphinx will stay alive. Sphinx has won the round. Yeah, he has. All he has to do is not screw up his last part. Or well, there is a chance that he's going to walk into Hooksy. He might actually be looking this way. 
Yeah, there's just a boot showing. Spinks walking up and he sees it. Oh, misses the chance, but he'll take down Hunter. And there's Hooksy. Nicely done. Double kill, as you pointed out. That's the round one. He's retaking from a ramp with an MP9. This one's done. Yeah, I don't see them doing this either. Deep flashbang. It better be the best flashbang of all time. And it does take down Saibu, but Megas there to recover it quickly. And Hooksy trying to run him down. Oh, one single click of that AK. And it's a 16 to 8 scoreline as Vitality claimed the opening map of the semifinals. Yeah, Apex getting really fired up about that one. You can understand a 7 to 3 start to this game ends up being 16 to 8. The only solace for G2 right now is the next map is going to be Inferno. Ooh, there's three people inside, though. They're going to be powering through. Dooley is up on top. A lot of bullets down here. Nico will pick up the first kill to start Inferno with. But a swift return. Saibu's there and he's hunting for it, looking for the kill on Nico, And he's finally going to be able to get it. Hooksy is very low on health, practically dead already. It's going to be Megas, but it could have been anyone to find him at the end. So a two on two rather swiftly. And that bomb is not planted yet. Already JKS, I like this very slim angle to try and just take a bit of a look. And he finds the headshot onto Saibu as well. That's beautiful. Megas got his zone and he's stolen the USP. He can win this, but they're smartly waiting for him to pick up the bomb. He's going to try and creep a little bit forward. Has to be swift with it, and Hunter will take him down. G2. He might want to start lobbing some util out now just to soften up a bit of damage. We'll stall them. They're coming through. Oh, yeah, they're trying. Hoaxie, though. The smoke actually a little bit early, but it was absolutely perfect. He's out of bullets, though. Oh, oh, the oh. Oh. And he's going to keep going. Oh, it's a beautiful defense. An ace to close out the round with. That's going to get G2 fired up. Yeah, Hooksy's loving the moment right there. Why not? x -Tas not believing it. 30 seconds. Has to get this shot, and it's a lightning fast flick that he comes through with. Meg is down and out. Monacy, he'll get the next one too. And if they come more to offer up, he might take him. Third kill in the round for him, and Spinks is on his own. All his teammates slain by Monacy. Finally, oh, bring him down, and Spinks is back in the round. What a magnificent transfer onto Hooksy. And Nikos walked up this whole way. Spinks has no way of knowing it. Oh, the timing is so good. He's reloading in front of Nico. Oh. Catching him with his pants down. Yeah, he's looking right around it. I wonder if they even know. Nico does have a pop flash ready and right over the smoke. Hooksy up there. That's a nice kill. But Saibu, I can't believe he nearly had the transfer up. But Hooksy's still going to find him. At 5-7, making a name for itself right now. They need more people over here, though. Just the pistols left. A little bit of a chance maybe with that MP9. But Hunter... Surely they're going to be checking it. They've already found two people here. Apex up on top. That's beautiful, but the MP9, it works. And Apex, he's real low on health and in a lot of trouble. 15 seconds with his back uh -oh. turned, and Monacy's almost finding him. I can't believe he's still alive. He's going to fake it once, go back to take a look, but now he's out of time. He can't win this round. They're surely going to run him down. It's Monacy to catch him at the end. Oh, this rotation from Hooksy absolutely could make a world of difference. I'm really curious to see. He's already at Archie. He's already looking in the middle. They're going to try and get in there. Nice flash onto Hunter, but JKS, what a bodyguard down in the pit. He saved Hunter, who comes back with his double kill of his own. Yes. You had Yabby, you had Zyphon, like they all could pack a punch. Well, here's this palace waterfall. Yeah, Monacy trying to fall back. Can't quite get the flick in this. Nobody down in the pit to help him out, but he still takes care of business. Leg shot, and then the assist from Hunter to bring a down Sphinx. It's just all on Megas and Saibu. Oh, that's a nice rundown. Double kill for Saibu. They need all the rounds they can get here. Two versus two at the moment. They try and make their way in there. There's the first AG over the top. Oh! It blows him up. I can't believe the damage. He's down to 10. Almost free fight around the corner. That might open it up. Nico stepping out to help him. And now down to Saibu. One versus two. If they can find him right now, they can still get that defuse. He's going to get the flick, but he's in the corner. Oh! Through the box. And it's Saibu on an ace. I don't know what he could possibly do down here. M4 and flashed immediately. It's a good job to get the first one, but again, he doesn't really have the space to reload, and eventually he's going to run out of bullets, surely. Oh, he's done such a fine job. That's way better than I was expecting. But Sphinx eventually will take him down. Apex can't find the bomb. It's just been highlighted as up on the balcony, so during this time, the smokes are fading, but Magisk is not from the mini pit. Going to grab an easy kill, and now Hooksy, he's in the grave. Yeah, Hunter realizes there's no backing out now, because there's going to be Megas down there somewhere. Waiting for him, trying to see if he can enter this crossfire, but oh, that's a great find! Apex goes down, Sphinx with an immediate headshot in return, and now it's all on Monacy. They have some money, but not that much here. Gotta be a little bit careful. 
Kid as well. <laughs> Spinks, that is beautiful. Triple on him. He's going to be forced to relocate into the flashbang while all this is going on. But Hooksy, he's still there. That submachine gun up close and personal. He's finally going to be going oh. down. And a nice flick. Oh, a spin around from Spinks. And it's a two versus two. If you just jump it, you might just be dead. Only the boots are showing. Oh, what a nice little peek. They trade damage. Spinks is still out here with an eight cheek grenade. And he's playing this one for the last seconds in the round. Nice. Swing up for JKS, all on Spinks. Oh, they line up, and he's going to get a quad kill to close out the half. 10 to 5. It, was a re it would have been amazing if he didn't get flashed himself. It would have been really cool. Apex, back around the corner. Megas knocked out Monacy. Opening kill, and he's going to keep going. Apex is no more. Spinks trying to live, but Nico will not let him. Dupree and Cyber with the dualies. Save him. Yeah, That'll be better next round, I think. Destroy their, not just the game, but their souls on top of it. Trying to make sure that they're never going to mentally recover. Oh, oh, that's insane. Kid's on a heater right now. This is crazy Counter-Strike for Modesty. You hope uh, G2, for their own sake, explore a little bit more. And so does Cyber. Modesty's not missing. He is not missing. Yeah, he's really not. 25 kills at the moment. He's turning the corner, look at him, and he'll take down Magus as well. It's so wild. Up at the graveyard, Apex. Well, I guess it's good he's already in the graveyard Whoa. because he's definitely going to be dead, even getting that double kill. Spinks now one versus two, and oh, Apex, he's hearing it saying, wait a minute, there's a lot of footsteps happening. Nico, he'll find Spinks. Oh. Apex is out. How is this happening? I can't believe it. Dupree's back here, but he can still win the round. He can win it on time alone. Oh, but he's forced out with the Molotov. That's a great grenade. And Hooksy, he'll find that critical kill in the back, and the bomb plant is theirs. Nico ready to execute Makers. Can Cybus on his own? And he has to just trundle on back to the A bomb site. It's gonna be 15 to 7. There's two people coming this way. He's got that AWP back finally. A lot of the work has been with the AK, but. Oh. That one actually betrays him. Good util for the retake. Lots of incendiary smokes as well. Yeah, that's right. They could burn out actually two out of three of these positions right away. Hooksy and JKS might be in trouble. Yep, JKS is already burning alive. Hunter coming back out to try and help out. Hooksy, there we go. Barbecued immediately. Hunter fighting for it, and he's on his own. This is looking like a really great comeback for Vitality to try and reclaim this one. Oh, trying to get the defuse, oh. and it's going to be Magus to get that one finally. They're straight on it with the defuse kit on top. So try and put it a little bit further back. Apex, he's got the right idea. Does he see the gun barrel? Oh, no, no. The other way. Hooksy, just too quick this time. And now it's a lot of trouble for this A-bomb side. Shots are coming through, but the pre will find one. There's an army coming on the other side. The pre and Magistel, the Danish duo, working out for this A defense. He swings for it, and they lock it down. If they want to go for it, they're going to be ready. Here's Magus down in the graveyard, looking right up at the timing. is it's immaculate me. once again. Yeah, they're getting absolutely blended here. Monacy on his own, and there's no way to fight that one. Another round for Vitality. They just keep going. They should be able to flash their way through, maybe smoke out the one side. They're also going to be popping out of apps. This might be the round that they need. G2, four and five, but Magus, he's undefeatable. He can't be brought down. Finally, they get him, but it's way too late. Monacy is on his own to try and win this map. One versus two before we hit overtime, and already on 20 seconds, Molotov in front of him, and he just can't find Dupree. He's behind the box somewhere. Oh, oh he's lightning fast. Oh, he almost has it, but instead, it's Sayu to school the kid. It's overtime, 15-15. Boosting in the background, though. Oh, this is interesting. With the Molotov on top, Spinks, he goes down after the early kill there, but Dupree... They're not going to check for him. Oh, they will now. Surely they heard that. Maybe the comms. Oh. JK seems aware. He must have heard this. Dupree is still going to get the better of him. This is going to be a 3-0. Yes, it feels like Monacy. One versus three. He's been playing an exceptional game right here, but this is too much to ask for. He's going to get shot at the back. Make is showing up from the other side. 30 kills on him. And an 18 to 15 scoreline going into the second half of overtime. Beating the Molotov. He's just so aggressive trying to get here alone. And the bomb side is Nico. And they're going to come through right behind him. He's the only one to defend it. He gets a huge double. And that still might not be enough. Three versus three and a lightning fast bomb plant to follow. And look who's pushed up. Is anyone going to be checking this? Monacy, he's got kind of the right idea, but Apex is on the other side. Oh, Saiwoo gets dropped, and Monacy's walking up. This is looking good. Got to be careful they don't oh. line up. It's so close. JKS will take him down, and G2 finally, finally win around. Dupree had a miserable start to this game, but my God, he made up for it. And now around the corner, flashed in by Apex. And they're right back in a three-on-three. 
Modesty, he's got the right idea. Can he catch anyone here? He misses a shot. And now JKS over on the balcony. This is scary. If he goes down, it might be the end. Dupree with a headshot. And Monacy, he's smoked out. He can't get there. The bomb is going to be planted. Vitality, how they found a way into the, this bomb site. They're going to have to boost. They're going to have to try and find something here. G2, this is all going to fall apart. As soon as Hooksy's noted, they know where both players are. The smoke's faded. This is it. Yeah, they're going for it. Hooksy leading the charge. Oh, and they line up instead. 19-16 and Vitality. They find a spot in the grand final. Look at this. Look at the celebration right now from Apex. What a comeback, right? Not only did they just secure the spot against Liquid tomorrow, but the style of Counter-Strike they played, the resilience this team showed, the chips were down. They looked down and out, and they just showed exactly why they picked this map. The huddle comes in, the celebrations are there, and Vitality are triumphant over G2, who are going to be sleeping rough tonight.